Hi, in this video I want to talk about what are the light and heavy DNA strains. Circular molecules of DNA such as plasmids and typical mitochondrial genomes consist of the two strains of DNA called um, the light strand or L strand and heavy strand or H strand. For example, if we take a um, plasmid that is present in the bacterial cell, it can be present in, in the two forms. One is condensed form that looks something like this. And one is relaxed form, something that looks something like this. And um, if it take, uh, for example, one fragment of this double-stranded DNA, um, I will use different colors. These two strands are composed of four bases. Uh, that is um, guanine, adenine, um, thymine and cytosine. So if I take randomly say guanine, guanine, adenine, cytosine, um, thymine, so on the other strands they are going to be complementary uh, pair like guanine always pairs with cytosine so this is going to be cytosine and adenine always pairs with thymine cytosine with guanine and thymine with adenine. So we we are going to get uh, by knowing uh, composition of the bases on one side we instantly know the composition on the other side. Um, the two strands have different masses due to different proportions of the heavier nucleic acids. Guanine and uh, adenine are purines. And um, cytosine and uh, thymine are pyrimidines. Molecular weight of the pyrines and pyrimidines are not equal. And as I show on the uh, next slide, as you see, uh, adenine and guanine, which are purines, um, they consist uh, of uh, two rings, and thymine and cytosine consist only one ring, and this is purines. And this is pyrimidines. So um, it's obvious that uh, adenine and guanine molecular uh, mass is greater than cytosine and thymine. And whenever we have uh, uh, imbalance of the pyrimidines on one side of the double-stranded DNA. Uh, we will have uh, uh, excessive uh, amount of uh, pyrimidines on the other side of the DNA. Um, for example, uh, let's say here we have adenine, adenine, guanine, guanine, um, cytosine and thymine. So, adenine would pair with um, thymine, and here going to be thymine, cytosine, cytosine, guanine, and adenine. So, if we'll start uh, to count molecular weight, um, actually we can simplify, we can uh, put uh, zero for uh, thymine and cytosine, and we can put one for 
adenine and guanine so we can count one here one here so this is going to be four on the left side and thymine and thymine this is going to be zero cytosine cytosine zero guanine one and adenine one so this is going to be two so the left side um, as we can see molecular weight would be greater than um, that of the uh, right side and um, So we can um, separate um, double-stranded DNA molecule and there is um, um, close to 50 to 50 percent uh, molecular mass of the um, one strand and another strand but it's never uh, exactly 50 to 50 percent ratio. So um, always one of the strand going to be uh, a little bit um, lighter molecular weight than another one. Well, this difference is not known to cause any functional significance. It can be used in laboratory to segregate the strands of the denaturated DNA and hence um, scientists able to analyze the strands separately. In addition, BS may arise due to differentials in the amount of protein coding sequence on each strand as codons do not occur with equal frequency. In order to separate two strands of DNA, um, we can apply a heat or we can use um, special chemicals that help us to separate these two uh, uh, these two strands and then we run a gel as you see on this picture uh, two, um, two strands should uh, separate because they have different molecular weight and uh, when we run a gel uh, we prepare one well where we load um, our uh, two separated strands and depending on the molecular weight, they would uh, go in the direction of the uh, plus charge. And here we apply minus charge. So this is going to be when we apply a current. So our two strands would separate depending on the molecular weight. Uh, let's say this would be look like this. Um, so this um, going to be uh, that one uh, that run uh, the smallest distance means it's heavier and uh, here we see um, one that uh, travel at longer distance it means uh, this trend is lighter so it's uh, travel at longer distance and then we can cut uh, one of these or both of them from the gel just like you see on this picture uh, um, and uh, then we can purify it and use for other experiments um, so basically this is all for today thank you for your attention goodbye